welcome and thank you so much for joining us for this first ever Youth Alive podcast. It means so much to me that you would take time out of your busy day. Uh, I'm sure school's crazy. I'm sure work's crazy if you're a youth pastor and or student. You guys have jobs too. Uh, I'm so excited that you would take time to join join us together here. I'm so passionate about helping youth pastors uh, and youth leaders and students who are trying to make a difference on campus. I am so passionate about helping you become a better leader. Why? It's because I genuinely believe that uh, the youth ministry and campuses are the next generation of the church. And so I'm so passionate about reaching students and reaching schools. And so what this podcast is, um, every uh, first and third Wednesday of the month, here's what we're going to do. We're going to launch, uh, 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 upload a video to YouTube, and the first first one of the month will be uh, a practical how-to, so kind of what we're doing right here, uh, around the idea of leadership. And then the, the third Wednesday of the month, we'll have, uh, right here in this room, we'll have a, 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 an influencer here that we're going to interview with, that'd be a church planter, uh, an author, students who are leading campus clubs, uh, ministry interns, uh, authors, uh, artists, you name it. This kind of thing is, my, my whole heart is we want to take people who are influencing in their world and help apply what they're doing into your world. Why? Because I believe that leadership is all about influence. If we can help you become a better influencer, we have made you a better leader my heart is that the people that are leading me would help me become a better influencer. Because I believe that when we are better influencers, the world around us gets better. So what's the influence we're trying to accomplish? We want to help you become an influencer for Jesus in the lives of students if you're a youth leader um, or on campus if you're a student uh, starting a campus club. And so that's what this is for. And so again, how does this work? It is the first and third uh, Wednesday of the month. We'll post these videos. And every so often, uh, we'll do a we'll do a bonus episode. Uh, we might actually have one coming up soon, so stay in touch, uh, keep up on that. So how do you how do you know if you're up to date? So this is obviously this is episode one, uh, but we'll uh, if, if you would, wouldn't mind going ahead and hit the subscribe button right there on that on here on YouTube, it'd be awesome. One, I would love just to have your subscription, uh, but also uh, to stay stay up to date, and then as well. If you're not following us on AZ Youth Alive on uh, Instagram, go do that. Hit us up, follow us, uh, make sure that you stay up to date because we'll post stories, IGTV, um, and then just on our, 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 whatever you call it, the feed, there you go. Uh, we'll post on the feed about what's going on so you can stay up to date. So let me um, give you an overview of the vision of Youth Alive. So this first episode, we're not going to get incredibly deep on on anything just yet. My heart is I want to kind of let you know what you're signing up for by being a part of this podcast. Um, so let's do this. Let's break down the vision. Let's give you an overview of what Youth Alive is wanting to accomplish. So here you go. Ready for this? Youth Alive, we want to reach every student in every school with the love of Jesus. Now, Youth Alive as a whole, it turns 40 years old in August. How cool is that? And uh, we're in, uh, I think, 23 states. In Arizona, I want to say is the 22nd state that Youth Alive is in. So we started Youth Alive here in Arizona for the very first time uh, back in 2018. Got it launched, and man, God has been doing great things. And so, uh, how does that uh, reaching every student in every school apply specifically here to Arizona? So here's how that works is this. Let's break this down um, in, 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 in a more understandable term. So in Arizona alone, there are 1,979 middle schools and high schools. That's a lot, right? Now, what does that mean for students? So that means we're, there are about 488,000 teenagers that make up our schools in Arizona. Public, private, charter, you name middle school, high school. Um, and that's, a, that's our demographic. That's what we believe God has called us to reach. That, that's a lot, right? So how do, we, how do we do that? Well, I'll tell you, with your help. <laughs> I, don't, I can't do this on my own. This is the vision that God has called my wife and I to live out. But 
We need your help. We need you to buy into the vision so you can go reach students in your community, reach students in your campus. So youth pastors and students, this vision happens when we all buy in together. Why? Because you and I are better together. We just spent a whole um, two months almost touring around our state, casting the vision that we are better together. So this vision only happens when you and I understand that we work better together. So what are the, the two primary ways that we, what are the two primary ways that Arizona Youth Alive seeks to hit our goal? Number one is launching a life-giving campus club in every school. So uh, in, in the videos to come, we'll get really in depth on all kinds of club stuff. So whether uh, that be like a relationship with your youth pastor launching a club or um, what is a actual club meeting look like but our goal is this that we would launch a life-giving campus club in every school a place where students who do go to church so the church kids uh, I'm assuming the ones that are watching this um, and the students who don't go to church or who won't go to church think of it this way our campus club should be a place where the two of them can come together and learn to understand each other and learn to communicate my goal would be this that students might not come to church but they could go to a club that you start and then you are teaching them a Christian worldview on a regular basis. How cool is that? And so uh, how does this work? How do we start this? So we have um, a story of one of our students he, right here in Phoenix. Uh, she started a campus club at Horizon High School and you can check out her video. Uh, if you could just go to our Youth Alive, uh, Arizona Youth Alive on YouTube, uh, her, her story is there. But what she did is simple. Uh, she heard the vision and she signed up and we'll talk about how to do that later but she heard the vision of Youth Alive and she signed up and then she got a couple for friends and they said yeah let's do this let's get in this together and they picked a date it's during lunch and they got pizza and every single week they're reaching about 60 70 and, and maybe um, maybe up around the around the hundred mark students every single week that are hearing about the love of Jesus I don't know about you but I think that's pretty amazing. So we want to launch a life-giving campus club in every school, as well as school assemblies. And so uh, number two would be school assembly outreaches. So we just started our school assembly outreach in um, uh, January of 2019. It was awesome. So how does this work? In the morning, we would come to your school and we would address a couple things. Uh, so far, the things that we address in our school assemblies are suicide drug abuse, and we challenge students to take leadership, ownership of their school, or in other words, to we say to be a game changer. And then after the, the, after the talk, uh, it's high energy, it's awesome, after the talk, a student would then come up and make an invite, and say, hey, I'm so-and-so, I lead Youth Alive here, we're putting this event on, and tonight we want to have you come to an after party right back here at the school and do some giveaways, pizza, uh, entertainment of some sort. It's really awesome. And we did this and um, at the school, and our first one, 20% of the school showed up in the evening rally. And get this, 10 students accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. How cool is that? 10 students. And then, so a church helped put this on, right? We're going to talk about later in our episodes on how this works, how the church partners together to make these things happen. And the church that partnered with us, uh, we, we gave them an opportunity at the very end to invite students to their church. And the next night was a Wednesday night, okay? I had a youth leader text me and say, all 10 students came to youth. Wow. All 10. So if you ask me, that's the whole point of what we're doing. We want to get students saved right on campus and then get them plugged into a local church. God is, God's hand is all over that. And about a month out, those students are still, I, I was just uh, get, receiving some conversation, some texts recently with some of those kids uh, that got saved at that night, and they're still connected to the local church. So much so that three vehicles are going to the high school every Wednesday night picking kids up for youth. I don't know about you, but what youth group doesn't want to grow by 15, 20 kids in a month? So that's amazing if you ask me. So let me tell you a story about one of those young ladies. She came and um, as the story goes, she, she heard uh, about um, the problems that were being addressed in that assembly 
about the drug abuse and uh, suicidal behaviors and things like that. And it really spoke to her. And we talked afterwards and come to find out from one of the youth pastors is um, she tried to take her own life. And that night, she got invited to the evening rally. And at that evening rally, a couple days, a couple days before, she tried to just take her own life. But at that evening rally, Jesus gave her a new life. And she got to hear why she is valuable. And her life has been changed. How, how amazing is that? Like that's, that's the vision of Youth Alive right there, is seeing a kid right on campus, meeting them right where they are, and seeing them come to know Jesus, and seeing life pour into them. That's what a life-giving movement is. So if you're a student watching this right now and you think, man, how do I get involved in Youth Alive or should I do this? Or if you're a youth pastor saying, what am I doing to reach students in a new way? I really consider you, I really challenge you to consider being a part of Youth Alive. Because why? Why is this important? Well, one, we're reaching students on campus and, 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 and the, the local schools today are in mission field. You know what I mean? But why is this important? It's because this youth ministry is changing. What would work 10 years ago, even five years ago, what would work in the past just simply isn't working anymore. So the average youth group, I would say probably around 20 to 30 students, okay? Now, hear me. If you're having those 30 kids in your youth group and you're discipling into those students and they love Jesus, that is amazing and I commend you for your faithfulness. I would never discount that. I'm so thankful we have youth leaders that are willing to pour into those students. But think about your influence right here. Think about this. You might have 30 kids on a Wednesday night service or a Sunday night service whenever you meet. But right across the street, there's 3,000 students that you could have the possibility to have influence over. And if you're a student, there's 3,000 students that you could be reaching with the love of Jesus. I'm just saying, youth ministry is changing. It used to be we throw an event and they will come. But now things are changing to where we've got to go to them and meet them right where they are. Because isn't that what Jesus would have done? Isn't that what Jesus did for us? He didn't say come to us. He came to us. He didn't say come to me. He came to us. So I, my friends, if you're a youth pastor watching this, if you're a student, I, I, I challenge you with everything that is within my heart to pray about whether or not God is calling you to initiate a student to lead a campus club. Maybe you have students in your youth group that you think, man, they are sharp, they are amazing, they love Jesus, they have the potential to be a leader. Put them, put them over something like this because, man, students can go places we can't. And those places are high school classrooms, middle school classrooms. Or if you're a student watching this and you're thinking, should I do this? I would really, I would really challenge you to pray and seek the seek God's God's help. Because you're right, not everybody is called to do this. It's not everybody's thing. But what if you could be the answer to someone's problem? What if someone in your school is waiting for you to start a life-giving campus club or to bring in a school assembly outreach to your school, where? Hundreds, if not thousands of students could hear that they have purpose, they have value, and ultimately come to know Jesus. So anyway, I could go on about this all day long, but honestly, we only have 20 minutes. Uh, so anyway, I'm so thankful that you would take time to watch this because it means the world to me. Because here's the thing about, here's why I like technology, okay? Because I can't be with you guys all the time. We're not one big youth group. It'd be awesome, right, if we were, <laughs> but it's just not the case. Um, so you being here and watching this, I think it's going to be invaluable. And so here's what, here's what would be really great. A couple things really quick is if this podcast is helpful for you, if you're a youth leader or you're a student watching this podcast, if it's helpful for you, what would be, what would be amazing if you would, uh, uh, just comment one, because I just like encouragement, you know what I mean? Who doesn't, right? Um, but I'll say if you would hit subscribe, so you, you know what's coming next. Um, follow us on AZ Youth Alive on Instagram, but it also, also if you would take this link and you would share this video with, with others, that would be so incredibly helpful. Help make sure you get the word out. Um, get the word out about this, and um, we're going to venture into get the, getting these on iTunes and Spotify so you can listen to it on audio as well. 
Um, make sure you, that you you download wherever you are. Uh, get Spotify Premium, you know what I mean, so you can listen to it. Um, they're not a sponsor. I wish they were because that would be awesome. Uh, but get that wherever you can. And then also, I want to know how to best serve you, okay? Because I might think I, I know what you need to hear or what you want to hear, but I don't always. Um, and so if you would do me a solid and on this video, comment below. Comment below some content that you would like to be discussed. What are some things as, when it comes to youth ministry, when it comes to campus ministry, what are some things that you would like to hear about and in the coming weeks we can uh, discuss those things for you because we want to serve you. It's not about me. It's I, I genuinely want to serve you and help you become a better influencer. And also comment who are some guests that you would like to see us interview. Who are some influencers? If it means a student even or a youth pastor or whoever that you would like to see us interview. And so we can make this the best podcast we possibly can. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. It's an honor and a privilege to serve you. Let's reach every student.